Welcome back to TK Tennis. Going into this year's French Open, Carlos Alcaraz made some updates to his service motion. Let's take a look and break it down. So let's quickly review the three phases of any stroke. Uh, a typical stroke has three phases. The preparation phase, which you can see Carlos is in right now. Then moving into the loaded up phase, where you have all your energy stored and you're getting ready to transition from preparation into active hitting phase. So every tennis stroke has these three phases. And going back to Alcaraz's previous service motion, let's take a look at how it compares to his service motion that he introduced at this year's French Open. So first you're gonna notice something right here in his previous serve. He gets into this, mo into this position where he transitions his weight from his front foot into his back foot, where most of the weight now is leaning on his rear foot. His left leg is straight. And it's sort of an uncomfortable, unnatural position. Let's say an unnatural position. He's bending down. He has this V in his torso compared to his legs. Both hands are down together and he's leaning backwards. I would say for most people, this is relatively uncomfortable and certainly not natural. The next thing to watch is watch how his hands both go down together and immediately come up together during the toss. So his weight's on his rear foot and watch both hands come up immediately together and he gets into his trophy position and he's in his pinpoint stance and now hitting his serve. From here on, little else changes compared to his new serve. Now let's take a look at his updated service motion from the French Open. A few things to note is watch, look at his feet. The weight distribution between his left foot and his right foot is a lot more even. He will no longer straighten out this left leg as much and put his weight back onto the right foot and you notice that he's standing more erect and upright and he's less hunched over. The fourth thing to notice is once he starts to serve his motion is watch how his racket hand is delayed and stays down and does not immediately rise up with his tossing arm. You can see that here. This racket previously would have been much higher already into the trophy position. Now he's lagging it behind. He's going to move up this right foot to his left foot into the pinpoint stance. And as we move forward with it, now he's back into the trophy position where he's fully loaded up and he's ready to release and go into the active hitting phase. Now you might ask, why would they make these changes? The number one objective of the preparation phase is just to be as efficient as possible and natural as possible and not create additional tension to move up into your loaded up phase. Previously, when he had the lean back he was very tense, had to straighten out that left leg, and it just introduced more complexity. Now, speaking of quirks, let's highlight Michael Moe here, who has a significant amount of quirks during his preparation phase. As you can see here, he has both arms extended as far as he can into the court. His weight is on his front foot. He has excessive spacing between his left foot and his right foot. Everything about this beginning of his preparation phase is very unnatural and very forced. These types of quirks are typically developed as a junior during your development phase where you're trying out different types of preparation and stances and tosses and at some period of time you find something that works and you end up just sticking with it and it ends up bleeding over into your pro career. So let's take a look at his motion. Both arms very straight. Now he's transitioning more weight to his back leg. and there's a severe lag on his racket before he gets into the trophy position. So if you can look at this, everything about this serve, or most things about this serve, look pretty unnatural. Until he gets to the trophy position right there, and then he launches forward where he's loaded up and hitting a normal serve. If you notice, the entire preparation phase looks very uncomfortable and has a lot of quirks. Let's compare this to Grigor Dimitrov and how natural and efficient his preparation phase seems. Take a look at his feet. He has equal weight distribution for the most part on both feet. He's standing pretty much straight up with a little bit of a bend, but it looks very comfortable. Again, there's no huge transition of weight shift to back foot to front foot. He makes a simple ball toss. He's going to get up into this trophy position right here before he heads into the active hitting phase and launches forward. But when you compare Grigor's serve to Michael Moe's serve in the preparation phase, 
you can see how dramatic that difference is. So what can you as a recreational player learn from this? It's pretty simple. The preparation phase shouldn't be too complex. It should be simple. You should stand up in a generally comfortable position with equal weight distribution on both feet and keep things as natural and fluid as possible. Don't introduce any weird quirks to your serve during the preparation phase. The preparation phase's number one goal is to get into the loaded up position, which in this case is the trophy position, as you can see here, as efficiently as possible before you go into the active hitting phase. So I hope you enjoyed that teardown of Carlos Alcaraz's serve. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next ace.